Nationals trying to end on a positive note to go into 2024. Welcome into Nats Extra Pregame for the last time this year. Dan Kolka with you again, joined by Mark Zuckerman from MassInSports.com. And Mark, as we put the finishing touches on the 2023 campaign, let's look back at the different facets of this Nationals roster, where there have been signs of progress this year and where they can look to improve in 2024. Let's start for the offense. If you're dissecting the Nationals offensively this year, what are the biggest positives in your eyes and where do things need to get better a year from now? Well, the growth of some of the young key players, C.J. Abrams, so much better at the end of the year than he was beginning of the year. Cabert Ruiz, you know, slumps here and there, but overall big picture, a lot to like about Lane Thomas, obviously a breakthrough yep. year for him. And I think Joey Manessis, I know we don't consider him one of the young guys, but to show how clutch he could be, he's got a chance at 90 RBI if he drives in a couple more today. I think a lot of progress there. Where do they need to improve power? is the number one department. Last in the National League in home runs, and on top of that, last in walks. That's a tough combination. You've heard Mike Rizzo and Davey Martinez both say those are things that need to improve, both from within, guys getting better and developing, but also I think if there's a move to be made, they look outside for somebody who could step into the middle of the lineup and provide some more thump. Thump would be needed for a team that has gotten a lot of singles this year and had a lot of chances with runners in scoring position, but not as many crooked numbered innings as they would like this year. We'll see if that changes next year. Mark, when you talk about the pitching side of things, I think the fact that the rotation stayed so healthy this year and only needed, what, eight starting pitchers the entire season is a huge uh, step in the right direction for this team. As you evaluate the overall starting core relief unit, what are the biggest positive signs in your eyes, and where can things get better? Well, durability for sure. I mean, when you have Josiah and Gray, Mackenzie Gore essentially make it through the whole season healthy. I know Gore had a couple little things, but nothing that major. That was big. For Jake Irvin to show up in the beginning of May and have no experience and to make it all the way through the rest of the year as a member of the rotation, yeah. he's going to be part of it next year. That's another big thing as well. So they've got some building blocks there. You want to see a little more consistency now from them. And the bullpen, I know the total numbers don't always look great, but if you think about the games that were really in late, Finnegan, Harvey, Weems down the stretch, and you saw some lefties begin to develop late in the year. I think there's a good foundation there, and with Tanner Rainey now back healthy, that to me may be the area where they need the least improvement going to next year. You could see five at least guys from that group coming back and forming the foundation of a good bullpen next year. Yeah, I think very few games this year, now that we think about it, where the Nationals had a lead to the late innings, blew that lead and didn't end up picking a win in that ball game. That's a rarity. And when they've gotten the chance, the eight bullpen has largely done a really good job. Mark, a lot of this year has been spent looking not just at the major league level, but down to the farm and monitoring the progress of all of these big name prospects that the Nationals have accumulated now. As you look forward to 2024 and some of these names that we have been talking about for the last handful of months, who do you think we could see next year specifically maybe early in next year well there's a list a lengthy list of guys and i think it's notable that so many of their top prospects finished the year at double a and yeah. harrisburg together now they aren't all in the exact same timeline some of them a little bit more ready than others i think james wood and dylan cruz stand out as being advanced at the stages of their career brady house probably a little bit farther back and i'm trey lipscomb was one of the best developments of the whole year yep. as a guy who could play all over the infield and hit for them and i think they see a bright future for him i see all four guys i think internally they believe this we're going to see all four of them debut next year it's just a matter of when opening day might be a bit much to ask a little for, aggressive maybe yeah but by june i think you start to see a few of them they're all going to be in big league uh, training camp with them i think that's a big deal to see how they start to meld and match up with big league pitchers they're facing this spring. Mark, thanks for the time all year. Thanks for all the work, and we'll monitor your work throughout the offseason as well. Absolutely, Dan. It's been a pleasure. Mark Zuckerman, you can read his stuff all offseason long as well.